welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing and demoing for you this Holbein Special Black Ink. And I just kind of wanted to show you the packaging that it came in. Um, I really like it. It came in this clear casing. And the nice thing is it has this square bottom and it, you can't move it because this also has a squared bottom. So it kind of fits in there and then it can't move. It's really nice for traveling because the only way it can go is upside down and because of the top it fits perfectly so it's not going to move anywhere. So there is like zero chance for this to leak out unless somehow this comes apart which it's pretty sturdy so I doubt very seriously that this is going to come off. So now let's open it since we've already talked about the awesome packaging. So here it is. It is the special black ink. It is opaque and waterproof. This is a 30 milliliter jar and it also tells you to shake it well before you use it. Alright, now let's open it up and I want to show you the dropper. So you just unscrew the top and here it's a little dropper. I find it really easy to squeeze because this is a very soft like rubbery material and you can get some and drop it off. You can also use um, brushes with this, dip pens, um, so it's good for those. Alright, so now I'm going to test it out on a piece of paper to see how waterproof it actually is as well as if it's Copic proof because that's definitely a big deal for me. So let's get to testing it out. All right, so initially I'm going to just be using a brush. I'm just gonna dip it in here Ooh. and just apply it. And this seems really, really dark and I really like that. Now keep in mind, this is before diluting it with water. So it may not look this way, you know, after you dilute it with water. But it's looking really nice. Alright, now I'm going to dilute it with some water. Before it's dry, this is not waterproof, so you can move it around with water just as I did here. Now after it's dry, however, it is completely waterproof, uh, or at least so it says. We will try that out as soon as this dries. So now you can see how dark it is without water as compared to when it's diluted with water. Alright, now this is how it turned out, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So this is a really nice ink anyway, so now let's see how it bled through to the back, if it bled through at all. Alright, so we have no bleed through. That's definitely a bonus. Alright, next I want to test how it works with my dip pen. Alright, I'm really liking how this is working with my dip pen. There that is. Alright, now that it's dry, I'm going to try to test and see if it is Copic and waterproof when dry. So first off, we're going to start with a Copic. We're going to go with E11. And I'm just going to kind of go over the darkest part. Okay, that is definitely not Copic proof. Alright, let's see if it's waterproof. Okay, when dry, it is waterproof. So, just remember though, it is not Copic proof. Now, I do have a video, and I will link you up here in the cards, to show you how to Copic proof inks. Now, this is not one of them. But I do give you a tip on how to Copic proof other inks that I do not show in the video. So if you want to check that out, just click up here in this card area and you can go to that. Now I think it is high time that we get into an illustration and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the facts of this ink and I'm going to do an illustration as I just said, so I really hope to see you there. Alrighty, so I really, really had so much fun playing with this ink and I really mean it. I do like using ink. Um, it's really fun to play with and I really like this ink. To be honest, it's not the like blackest ink or anything I own, and I'll show you like a little snapshot in the video in a second of kind of how I would rate all of the inks that I own compared to just how black they are. Um, I have five black inks, so you know, one to five. So anyway, let's talk about this ink. So it is intermixable with all of the different inks that they make. They have excellent adhesion to most surfaces, and they have a matte finish, which Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but every time I use this, most of the time, unless I used water with it, they did not have a matte finish. They actually had somewhat of a sheen to them, so maybe I was just doing it wrong. I don't know. So anyway, they come with 13 different colors, and they have different types. So they have standard, which are a little bit more transparent. They are dye-based, and they have a shellac in them. Then there is standard opaque, which is a pigment. And then there is special opaque, which is pigment and acrylic. So this is the special opaque kind. It spreads pretty well in water. I like the water effects that I got with it, and I like that I was able to dilute it and not have any problems with it. It works well in dip pens with brushes, and I really like the dropper. Um, it's waterproof when dry, as I showed you earlier, and 
it is great for inking. I would definitely use this for any of my inking needs. Um, so I had no problems here. So anyway, let me talk a little bit about the picture. Um, this was me trying to put my OC Phalanx in a newer style of mine that I feel like I've kind of moved towards. And uh, I hadn't drawn her in so long that she looked really weird anytime I drew her, so I decided to kind of re-image her a little bit into my own style. So this is her, or at least kind of a, a headshotty thing. I guess it's like a waist up, but anyway. Yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this ink. Do you like how it works? Do you like my picture of my OC Phalanx? You can follow me on DeviantArt, PG World, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to join our cute little artist family. I put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and two new videos each on Tuesday and Friday a month. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!